In the barren northwestern region of Iran, economic opportunities are dire and obtaining credit from a bank to start a small business is a daunting experience. Villages are remote and isolated for months during winters. People are poor and don't have any form of collateral for loans. And in a conservative society like this, chances for improving one's lot are even slimmer for women. My husband and I wanted to take a loan from the bank for our butcher shop, but it was too difficult. We're very simple people. As a woman, I didn't have money for myself. I had to depend on my father and on my brother for my expenses. In trying to address the problem, the International Fund for Agricultural Development introduced in 2003 a microfinance project financed by the government of Italy and implemented by TOC, a local NGO. It uh, uh, opened up uh, uh, an opportunity for lending uh, to, to segments of society that did not have access uh, in, in the past. How it did it? Uh, it did it uh, uh, through various steps, uh, uh, some of which uh, consist uh, of uh, um, building the, the capacity of people to, to understand what uh, lending and, uh, and borrowing means, uh, basically creating uh, uh, what we call financial uh, literacy. The project promoted the creation of self help groups where members from the same community pool their savings together and start lending each other money. After learning basic banking concepts, they decide who gets the loan and at which rate. We started putting one US dollar a month in the group's collective capital, but it wasn't enough for lending, so we raised the fee, and after one year I was able to obtain about $40 to buy the initial stock to open this shop. Once the group has built some savings and has a good track record of managing internal lending, its members can access Bank Shavarsi, the Agricultural Bank of Iran, as a single collective client. Any project that contributes to the upgrading of living standards of rural population is important to us. The ongoing IFAD project in Iran is one of such projects. It is aimed toward the same objectives, though with a special approach. This is why it has always been at the center of Bank Keshavar's attention. Under good management, it has had many achievements in various provinces. Practically, it is a well-known project to many rural people, in particular women. For example, Halime joined one of the self-help groups in her village because she wanted to help her husband butcher's business by selling ostrich meat. Before, I didn't have a job, but now I've learned how to save and make profit with my savings. After putting her savings in the group for more than a year, she applied for credit with the bank. Today, her ostriches are making the family business more profitable than ever and giving her a chance for empowerment. While in the case of Nazanin, microfinance turned a humble worker into a successful entrepreneur. Five years ago, I was making carpets for a person who owned a loom. Then I joined a self help group and with my first loan I bought myself a loom. Today, after taking seven loans from the group and two from the bank, I have 17 people making carpets for my company. Now Nazanin's business has grown so much that apart from holding a joint bank account with the group, she opened a personal one. But material achievements bring also less visible ones. I have learned a lot from the self help group and enjoy the bond of solidarity between the members. I feel more confident when I go to buy the products for my shop and I'm happy to have some money to provide for my children without asking my husband. Halim and Asanin and Amira are among the 5,000 members of over 300 groups who have been successfully linked to Bank Shavarsi. Together, they have access to a total loan capital of 1.6 million US dollars, with a repayment rate of almost 100%. The results of this approach have been so encouraging that the government of Iran has decided to expand the project throughout the country. We found that the combination of welfare organizations' approach with microfinance in collaboration with other partners could have a meaningful impact on the many dimensions of the lives of the poor. For the time being, 1,000 self-help groups have been added to the program in Kurdistan and in Ilan provinces since last year. The goal for the future is to reach 200,000 people, so day by day, in rural Iran, more and more people will move out of poverty thanks to microfinance and mutual help.